Welcome to Prism Torque, where we're diving deep into a jaw-dropping piece of technology, a massive die-casting machine that can churn out a new electric car every 5 seconds, like a toy factory pumped up to an insane level, capable of casting 5 vehicles at once, sounding like it's ripped straight from a sci-fi blockbuster but absolutely real, and this beast, known as a gigapress, is revolutionizing how cars are built, with the company behind it blazing the trail while others struggle to keep pace. Kicking things off with a 6,000-ton gigapress to craft the rear underbody of their best-selling electric SUV, swapping out over 70 individual parts for one solid aluminum piece to slash assembly time and simplify production, then rolling out a 9,000-ton gigapress to tackle the tough stainless steel body of their rugged electric truck. But now, whispers of a 50,000-ton gigapress have us wondering just how crazy powerful this thing is, what new vehicle it's being built for, and how. It can possibly cast five cars at the same time, so let's break it all down. The Giga Press, sourced from an Italian company called Hydra, came about when the company wanted to completely rethink how they made their SUV's underbody, needing equipment that didn't even exist, and by sheer luck, Hydra was secretly developing a colossal press that was exactly what they needed, used to create large vehicle components like the underbodies for their SUV and truck, starting with melting aluminum alloy at Scorching temperatures in a furnace, pouring the molten metal into a mold shaped like a car's chassis, with the Giga Press slamming on intense pressure to ensure the aluminum fills every tiny detail of the mold perfectly, leaving no flaws, then cooling it evenly to harden into a strong, accurate shape, requiring insane precision because if it's too fast, air bubbles can form, weakening the part, and if too slow, the aluminum cools before filling the mold completely, with a uniform cooling. System keeping everything in check to ensure strength and precision, followed by a robot pulling the part out, trimming off excess material, and sending it for quality checks, cutting vehicle weight, boosting structural rigidity, and improving performance by replacing dozens of smaller welded parts, saving both time and labor, while other companies like General Motors, Hyundai, Volvo, Zeker, and Xping are jumping into die casting, with Xping investing in a 16,000 ton machine, but a 50,000 ton. Giga Press is on a whole different level, so massive it might need its own dedicated facility with a reinforced concrete foundation several meters deep to handle its weight, estimated at 20 meters long, 12 to 15 meters tall, 10 to 12 meters wide, and over 3,000 tons, delivering 8.3 times the force of the 6,000 ton press and 5. 5 times the 9,000 ton press, working similarly by melting aluminum ingots and recycled scraps at 850 degrees Celsius, skimming off impurities, moving the molten metal through heated pipelines to a sealed furnace kept at 750 to 850 degrees Celsius, using a two-furnace system. One gas-powered for melting, another electric for holding, filled with nitrogen gas to prevent oxide formation and maintain steady temperatures, plus argon gas, a rotary de gas air, and a silicon carbide filter to remove particles bigger than 25 microns, then prepping the mold by having a robot spray 35 milliliters of soybean oil in a thin, even layer, like greasing a baking pan to ease part release, creating a vacuum to remove air, injecting the metal with a high-speed piston lubricated with 8 milliliters of oil, letting it solidify, ejecting it at 400 degrees Celsius, cooling it to 50 degrees Celsius in a bath to eliminate defects and enhance material properties, cleaning the mold at 185 degrees Celsius for the next cycle in 1 to 2 minutes, recycling excess metal, and x-raying the part for quality. With the massive clamping force preventing the mold from bursting under the intense pressure, requiring a super-fast cooling system, a smart mold release mechanism, and an AI-powered quality inspection process that no other carmaker has attempted at this scale, shifting car manufacturing toward a fast, streamlined model like electronics production, with the company's design chief revealing that the updated SUV's rear gigacast section is now 7 kilograms lighter, about 15 pounds, needing 50% less machining time, boosting performance and range while stiffening the structure to reduce twist during sharp turns, using conformal cooling where channels follow the mold shape, cutting cycle times from 170 to 75. Seconds on the 6,000-ton press, making the SUV lighter, more precise, and consistent, though they skipped front gigacasting for the SUV, 
sticking to stamped sheet metal except at their Texas and briefly Berlin factories, to unify parts across factories and reduce supply chain risks, likely saving casting capacity for the cyber cab, their autonomous vehicle that could be produced in five seconds. Creating five chassis in a flash, unlike anything in the auto industry, with about 80 structural parts compared to 200 in the SUV, cutting over 60% of components to simplify assembly, compared to the SUV's 35-second production at their Shanghai factory, the world's most productive car plant, making the cyber cab's five-second cycle achievable, though scaling up is tough due to the delicate thermodynamic process under immense pressure. Where molten aluminum must fill the mold perfectly without bubbles or premature cooling, especially in larger molds where the metal travels farther. Increasing defect risks, reimagining car production as a network of robots and pre made modules stacked like toy blocks, with the company's leader comparing it to making matchbox cars scaled up massively, feeding five cyber cab chassis into an unbox line so fast humans can't safely approach potentially producing 178,000 vehicles weekly, over 7 million yearly in 40 weeks. Aiming for 2 million cyber cabs per line by 2026, possibly slowing production to manage demand, lowering costs to spike profits, setting a new global manufacturing standard, not just for the cyber cab but also for the upcoming Model 2, likely using a similar chassis with a steering wheel, pedals, and five seats, leveraging gigacasting to hit affordable EV goals despite rising material, battery, and labor costs, potentially taking 10 seconds versus the cyber cabs 5, still faster than the SUVs 35 seconds, and despite a recent EV market dip, their SUV and sedan lead US sales with 64,051 and 52,520 units respectively, the SUV down 33.8% as buyers await the updated version, the sedan up 70.3%, with their new truck selling 6,846 units, ranking 10th, and luxury models at 12,880 and 3,843 units, showing dominance despite tariff challenges like a 145% rate on Chinese goods impacting cyber cab and truck component orders, pausing shipments after failing to absorb costs beyond a 34%. Tariff, potentially delaying the Cyber Cab's June debut and truck production set for 2026, while their humanoid robot, Optimus, in a sleek black design, looks intimidating like a sci fi bot but is meant to assist with repetitive tasks, with Gen 3 nearing release, featuring upgraded hands with 22 degrees of freedom versus Gen 2's 11, aimed at high end buyers for $80,000. Compared to Gen 1 for internal use and Gen 2 for broader sales, potentially dropping to $20,000 as production scales, with plans for millions yearly on automated lines where robots might assemble robots, though early issues like misinterpreting commands, connectivity reliance, or navigating stairs could arise, improved via over-the-air updates and employee testing, alongside new vehicle features like adaptive headlights rolling out in the US, enhancing visibility and safety by dimming specific light beam parts. Making vehicles better post-purchase, unlike most carmakers, proving Prism Torque's focus on cutting edge. Tech reshaping manufacturing, with the 50,000-ton Giga Press not just building cars but redefining production speed, efficiency, and scale, potentially transforming industries beyond automotive by applying these principles to other products, like robots or even energy solutions, as the company pushes boundaries with AI, automation, and innovative materials tackling challenges like thermal management, mold durability, and supply chain complexity to ensure consistent quality at unprecedented speeds, setting a blueprint for future factories where robots, AI, and giant machines work seamlessly to build the future, second by second, making Prism Torque your go-to channel for the latest in groundbreaking tech.